listeners to all the viewers of Coding Decoded. I hope you are thoroughly enjoying with your friends and family members. The question that we have in today is a fresh question that I am seeing after a very long time. In the entire month of December, I have hardly seen any questions that I haven't been solved on Coding Decoded and I hope you guys are following along. We haven't missed even a single day so far and this is the first question that I am seeing after long which was new so I thought of creating the video for it. The problem that we have in today's longest subsequence with limited sum. Let's quickly try and understand the question. The question says you are given an array of integers, the nums array and along with this you are also given the queries array. What do you need to do? You need to identify the answer for each query given to you and it is equal to the maximum size of the subsequence that you can take from nums such that the sum of its elements is less than or equal to queries. I'll be explaining more from this in the presentation section. So let's quickly hop on to it. Here in this question, you are given a nums array. You're also given a queries array and for each query value given to you, you need to identify the answer. And this query value basically represents total max sum and the answer for this would be maximum size of a subsequence that you can take from the nums array such that the sum of its elements is less than or equal to the queries value at ith index that means total max allowed sum. There are few hints that is specified in this statement. This question says subsequence that means the ordering is not important and let's try to apply this statement over to queries and let's select the answer for each of the query given to us. So the first case says that the maximum total sum happens to be less than or equal to 3. How many elements that you can pick up from nums such that the max total remains less than or equal to 3? There are two such elements 1 comma 2 and this is it. The answer corresponding to this query happens to be 2. And those two elements are 2 comma 1. Remember the ordering doesn't matter because it is subsequence in nature. Let's proceed ahead. The next query value that is given to us is 10. So how many elements you can pick up from the nums array such that the total of those elements remains less than or equal to 10. There are three such elements that you can pick up 4, 2 and 1. So let's write 3 over here and the elements picked up are 4, 2 and 1. The total of this corresponds as 8 and 8 is less than 10. As soon as we include 5, the answer goes beyond as a result of which 5 can't be included. Let's proceed ahead. The next value that we have happens to be 21 and for 21 is a maximum allowed sum. All the elements can be taken. 4 plus 5 happens to be 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, 11 plus 1 is 12. So the answer corresponds to this happens to be 4 and the elements are 4, 5, 2, 1. Now comes the concern, how can we solve this problem up? So let's talk about the solution. In the first go, what I'm going to do? Since I'm intending in picking up the maximum elements, so I'll select those that have the least value. And for identifying those elements in num that have the least value, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort this array up. So let's go ahead and sort this array to 1, 2, 4 and 5. After sorting operation, this is the array that is there with us. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create prefix sum and I'll be dumping this information in a tree map. So let's dump this information in a tree map and uh, the, in, the key would be of type integer that will represent the prefix sum and the value would be again type integer that will represent the index up till which that prefix sum occurs. So this represents the prefix sum ps and this represents the index. So let's write that over here and let's start dumping data into this. So the current prefix sum happens to be 1 and it occurs at index 0. So let's add 1 comma 0 in my tree map. How tree map will help us, I'll get tell you in some time, but let's proceed ahead. The next sum that we have happens to be 1 plus 2 is 3 and it occurs at the first index. So let's write 3 comma 1. 3 plus 4 happens to be 7. 7 occurs at the second index. So 
so let's write seven comma two next we have is five five plus seven gives you twelve and it occurs at the third index so let's write thirteen comma three twelve comma three so far so good now we have done all the pre computation we have added all the entries appropriately in our tree map and now comes the magic what we will do we'll iterate over the queries array and for each value we'll identify the float value that corresponds in this tree map in the first go what do i do i sort the array up moving ahead i have created a prefix sum array prefix sum at the 0th index happens to be equal to nums at the 0th index further i have created a tree map and the key for the stream map is prefix sum entry comma index the integer value moving ahead again we add the prefix sum at the 0th index into the tree map and the value corresponds to the 0th index i start iterating starting from i equals to 1 going up till nums dot length i calculate the prefix sum i dump the prefix sum value comma i into the tree map as per the presentation again and now i have built the answer array uh, i iterate over all queries i identify the floor entry and once i have the floor entry i extract the value i add one to it because indexes are lower by one unit in terms of, than the sizes and for each iteration once i'm done with this queries array i simply return the result pretty simple and straightforward accepted awesome the time complexity of this approach happens to be n log n plus q log n n log n for sorting this array up q log n because you will be fetching the floor entries from the tree map log n uh, in time complexity of log n and you are going to do it q times so the total complexity bit becomes n log n plus q log n the space complexity happens to be of order of n because you are building the tree map with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded a wonderful course on system design is coming up in this uh, upcoming week so stay tuned for it take care goodbye